Winter is a great time to be pruning fruit trees, like this apple, because they're dormant and it's pretty easy to see what's going on. Giving them a good haircut will keep them in shape and keep them healthy. But before you get your secateurs out, there's a couple of things you need to do. Step back and take a look at your tree. If you see the three Ds, dead, diseased or damaged wood, cut them out first. This tree is in pretty good nick, so all I really need to do is take out these internal branches that are closing up the centre of the tree. You see, this particular apple is in a goblet shape, and that is a really good shape for the home gardener to prune their trees to. All it really is is a main trunk or central leader with good scaffold branches that are evenly spaced. And in the case of an apple like this, this kind of wood creates good spurs, and your spurs where you get your fruit. Remove any branches that are crossing or rubbing on each other and any that are growing into the tree rather than outward. This will help with the notion of keeping the centre open. When you're pruning a branch like this that's about pencil thickness, it's a good idea to take it back by about a third of last season's growth. If you trace it back from the tip, you'll find a line and the bark will change colour. This is last season's growth. And when you prune, prune to an outward facing bud, like that one there. That way the new shoot will go the right way, keeping your tree nice and open. Overall, don't take off any more than say 20% when you're pruning your apple or your other fruit trees. Otherwise, the tree's gonna use a lot of energy in regrowing wood and foliage, rather than your flowers and fruit. Now there's not a lot of use in growing a tree where you can't pick the fruit. So I'm going to have to take the overall height of this tree right down. Now, if you want to take off a larger limb, you'll need loppers or a saw, and it's a good idea to do an undercut. What that is, is my final cut will be here. But before that, I'll do an undercut here. And what that will do is take the weight of the branch as it falls and prevent tearing further down the trunk. Yeah, I know I was only supposed to take 20% off, but it was very top heavy and I had to bring it down. I've retained a good goblet shape, good picking height, and plenty of fruiting sites for next year's crop. So that's it. Step back, take a look at what you're working with, and start chopping. And you'll be enjoying apples for years to come.